the Sudanese government and a major rebel group from its southern Nuba Mountains have signed a document which paves the way for a final peace agreement by guaranteeing freedom of worship to all while separating religion and the state. The signing is viewed as a crucial step in efforts by the power-sharing government headed by General Abdel Fattah al-Buran to reach accords with rebel groups across the country and end decades of conflict that left millions displaced and hundreds of thousands dead. Last year, Sudan signed a peace deal with many groups, including uh, those from the western region of Darfur, but a key faction of the Sudan People's Liberation Movement, and led by Abdulaziz al Hilul, did not join in last year's agreement because it stuck to its demands that Sudan dispenses with Sharia law and becomes a secular democratic state. Now that he has signed this agreement, I believe that he will not renege from what he has signed. Because he is always a man of his words. At the World Food Program, we use food as a weapon of peace. In the United Nations, we are grateful for the leadership and the support of everyone here. But I look to the day that we no longer are here because South Sudan and Sudan are not only feeding their own people, but they're feeding all of Africa and the rest of the world. But that can't happen when that can't happen without the building blocks of peace. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.